Hey, sup! Getting around in Minecraft hasn't always been easy, but now with horses, elytras, and the many redstone creations of the community, it's now a lot easier. And to start you off today, we're gonna break down 10 vehicles that anyone can make in Minecraft. Not just speed, but design, structure, and trajectory will all come into play when designing your moving vehicle. Each of these 10 builds are great for moving, but also have unique features that can be used for very specific purposes. Let's go, Sub! Number 1. Mob Mover now I know you're in a rush to start moving around in style sub, but first we gotta do some testing and design a machine that can transport mobs across various distances. Using the awesome and unique properties of honey, we can stick mobs to our machine. Then, using pistons and a circuit of redstone repeaters, we can create a delay loop that will circle infinitely as the redstone clicks on and off. Conveyor belts like these can be any length, provided they keep their square or rectangle shape. But not only can they transport you without needing to press a button, they can ensure that your farm animals can be moved from one farm to another whenever you decide to move houses. Perhaps you can come up with other reasons of why you would want to move mobs around. Perhaps this may even come in handy when trading with villagers. Number 2. Flying Machine in survival, this used to be a big task. But now all you really need are some observers, honey, pistons, and a note block. Using this simple combination of blocks, you can create a platform that you can trigger and stop as you please. You can even set up checkpoints or stop points for your flying machine so you don't fall off and end up chasing it into the infinite void. Flying machines can come in all shapes and sizes, but this one is by far one of the most efficient. It's also easy to understand, and you could even combine a bit of number one's mob moving mechanics by placing your animals on the honey to transport. Hopefully they don't glitch out and fall to their death. While we're on the subject of flying, Sub's world is soaring sky high recently. 900,000 subscribers. That's immense, insane, incredible. If you haven't already, you know exactly what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Number 3. Monorail in a multiplayer world where everyone's trying to fight for their own plot of land to claim, it might be worth a thought to get a travel system set up. While flying is great for advanced users who have the Elytra, you need to be thinking more about the community spirit. What about all the noobs that log on and have nothing? Using redstone and some minecarts, you can set up a monorail that starts at spawn and travels between different stops like a subway. The mechanics here are also pretty simple, just requiring an automatic redstone flick to stop the minecart at the station, and then another to have it continue along the track. Number 4. Booster this set of vehicles doesn't actually require any redstone, just a lot of material and some swift feet. The nether is strange in that most of the physics are warped. Any distance you travel in the nether is multiplied by six when you return to the overworld. So maybe a type of travel in the nether would be six times faster than anything in the overworld. Introducing the ice tunnel. Boats actually travel incredibly fast on a single block of ice. So stack a couple hundred and you'll be hitting speeds. This can also now work for soul sand as of 1.16 update. Creating a huge tunnel of stuff means you can equip a pair of soul speed three boots to zoom across faster than any other walking mob or player in the game. Number five, farm trimmer. Farming in Minecraft can become tiresome. While it's great to spend days tending to your crops and organizing your land, many players have spent years doing this. Wouldn't you much rather prefer to automate all of this? Well, we can't build a tractor in Minecraft, 
but we can create some crop harvesting machines that travel around your area. Things like an auto bamboo cropper or a flying machine similar to earlier, but specially tweaked so that it hits fully grown crops into a hopper to be collected. There's numerous ways you could mix moving redstone pieces with growing farm crops, all of which can help you better automate the process and provide more time for you to do the things in the game that you really love. Number six, Piston Bolt. Now we're gonna get a little bit more technical sub. Grab yourself a minecart, and of course, a whole bunch of pistons. As many as you can craft. Lay down a line of blocks for where you want the vehicle to travel to and from. Next, grab some tracks and place them individually, angling each of them so that they turn and don't connect with one another. Next, align the sides with the alternating pistons, one after another with a one block space in between. They should all be facing the same way. Add an indent and place redstone repeaters in between each piston. And finally, link up a button with some redstone. Place that minecart on the first track. Get in, press the button, and behold as all of the pistons begin to extend in time with your cart, propelling you forward at a crazy fast pace. Hey, did you not know this method of travel existed in Minecraft? Consider liking the video. We're always trying to teach some new tips and tricks to players like yourself. And a like shows us that you've learned something. Number seven, Destruction Bot. Who said that moving around in a vehicle had to be peaceful? We're in Minecraft after all, sub. This game can get pretty violent at times, especially on multiplayer servers, with PvP enabled. To set an example, and to scare away any server pros who may want to kill you and take your stuff, why not create a moving machine with a twist? Prepare a set of TNT launches, one above the next to a cliff, and then, Prepare some redstone to be triggered at the end of each cannon. Create an upward moving flying machine using honey, pistons, and observers. As it raises upward, watch it activate each cannon, sending TNT flying at the mountain, demolishing it and everything else in sight. Number eight, Mecha War Tank. Well, unless you've got mods, it's pretty impossible to create a tank. But technically speaking, if you place piston-operated moving machines in a strategic position, you can cover it with all types of blocks. Although obsidian won't work, many other blocks will help defend against attacking arrows. You can also set up dispenser turrets along the flight path and fill them with splash potions of harming and arrows, so that once your machine flies by, it'll blast them all out, or at least supply you with more items to attack. You may even want to get a few friends up there with you, sub, so you can team up against other groups of surviving players. Number 9. Rocket The sky's the limit when dealing with vehicles, especially considering in the real world, we have things that go directly up. That's right, sub. Spaceships and rockets. While you're no Elon Musk, I have faith that you can create something pretty cool using a similar flying machine design but tweaked to be horizontal and with a few dispensers wired up so that each one is delayed a tad more than the last. You can create your very own rocket launching sequence. Just hit the button and blast off. This would be an awesome showpiece that you could have on display for all of your server members to watch and try out. Number 10, Roller Coaster. The most organic and original of all the vehicles we've seen today. As it happens, the roller coaster is also one of the easiest to build. Well, depending on what type you want. Roller coasters don't have a specific design. They're only limited by your imagination. Big or small, fast or slow. Even areas with long drops, piston jumps, and even more. You can utilize slime and honey blocks in conjunction with pistons to push and bounce the cart around as if it were a pinball machine, creating some intense and crazy combinations of coasters. Hey, what's something you always include when you build a roller coaster? Let us know in the comments down below. 
Getting around in Minecraft never felt so easy and sweet, Sub. And with these 10 vehicles, you can not only do it in style, but while accomplishing many of the tedious Minecraft tasks that usually take up a whole bunch of time. Speaking of time, you need to get working on that next video, Sub. We'll catch you next time.